Okay, weekend number two. Saturday morning, I've washed the whole car with a red scuff pad because I'm going solid color, no metallic. Like I said before, use a gray scuff pad if you're going to do a metallic or a pearl. Uh, the red leaves a deeper scratch, which can be seen in the metallic. Okay, we're going to start by removing the front and rear bumpers. Pull any clips, any screws. Remember to put them all in a plastic baggie and label them. It'll make it a lot easier when you put it all back together. Sometimes on the rear bumpers you need to pull out the taillights to get to the screws in the bumper. Very simple. Some of the bumpers also, yeah, you got to kind of tug on them to get them to pop out. It's all in the design. I'm also going to remove the rear view mirrors. Makes it easier to paint. I'm going to use inch and a half masking tape to tape up any moldings or things I don't want to scratch up while I'm sanding. This tape right here will be removed so it doesn't have to be perfect. I'll pull this off and remask it later. This is a really cool trick. This is like a thin cardboard material, kind of like a cereal box. Let's cut them into little strips. Put a piece of inch and a half tape on it. And then you can stick them actually in between the windshield rubber and pull it back and it separates that. Very clean looking when you're done painting. So your moldings and stuff don't get over spray on them. It's going to repeat this all around the windshield and the rear window. The masking around the windows we're going to keep. We're just going to leave that on after we're done sanding. The ones on the sides I'll, I'll retape. This is a racer wheel. You can attach it to a drill. It's super cool. You could take adhesive off with them, pin striping off. And if it doesn't take it all off, you can use a wax and grease remover with a scuff pad. And it'll loosen it up to where you can get it off. Or I'm going to use a DA, a dual action sander, with an interface pad. Interface pads you can get at any paint supply store. Makes it easy to go around the contours on the car. Everything is not flat, so it works out real well. I'm going to use 600 grit sandpaper to sand the clear coat. It's a good idea to wear a dust mask and some gloves. The clear coat, when it's sanded, has a lot of isocyanates. It's very bad for your health. I always want to stay protected. You also want to make sure you're not walk in the house if you have small kids or something with all this dust on you it's another way to transfer it and it's just terrible stuff now if you need to get off some painted on pinstriping or anything like that you could take the interface pad off of the DA and just make sure you hold the D as flat as possible. 